Uh, how it's going today is 17 of May 2024 <laughs> and we are taking a look at the market what kind of opportunities uh, we might be able to discover uh, let's have a little bit of fun at Friday in this video let's take a look at uh, press releases that will be uh, some of the newspapers uh, this article was published 19 hours ago 19 hours, right? That would be scientists find bird branch of the Nile that may have carried pyramid stones. Uh, so that would discover of the branch which range alongside 31 pyramid could solve mystery of blocks of transportation, right? So I, I'm just saying I have written about it in my book in the very detail how it's been done. <laughs> so since this article was published uh, just now, 19 hours ago, I have published this book <laughs> where I'm discussing this. I already knew this is the way how it's been done, right? Since I knew it, so let's take a look at, at this article and what uh, they have just discovered just now, uh, 19 hours ago, right? Let's uh, delve deeper. Uh, let's uh, read this article so that it will be just uh, perhaps a repetition since I already have covered uh, this process. I knew that that's the way how it's been done, right? So I know it. So that we're just gonna uh, read this article, I guess, uh, since it's all uh, <laughs> book is already been done, right? So let's take a look at this article and what they have, scientists, uh, what kind of discovery they have made, right? Uh, scientists have discovered a long buried branch of the Nile River that once flowed alongside more than 30 pyramids in Egypt, potentially slowing, solving the mystery of how ancient Egyptians transported the massive stone blocks to build the monuments. So uh, at least now they solve it. So, <laughs> I don't know how big. <laughs> So I would, I would just poke a little bit of fun, but uh, uh, if people are interested in finding out uh, this process, uh, I would highly recommend purchase my book. But you know it, the Fort mile long, 64 kilometer river branch, which ran by the Giza pyramid complex, among other wonders, was hidden under desert and farmlands for millennia, according to a study revealing the find on Thursday. So uh, some scientists uh, on the ground doing a lot of work, right? Uh, the experience of the river will explain why the 31 pyramids were built in a chain along how inhospitable desert strip in Nile, valley between 4,700 and uh, 3,700 years ago, right? So they're still missing a lot of pieces, right? They, so scientists discovered just one piece, but the entire puzzle, I, I have discovered the entire puzzle. <laughs> But either way, but it's, it's kind of fun, I guess, and uh, I'm just having a little bit of fun. The strip near the ancient Egypt capital, uh, Memphis, includes the Great Pyramid of Giza, the only surviving structure of the seven wonders of the ancient world, as well as uh, Knafi, uh, Chops, and Macrianos Pyramid. Achilles had long thought that ancient Egypt must have used nearby waterway to move the giant materials used by uh, to build the pyramids, right? So they used to use water, right? As a source, right? I'm delving a little bit deeper in my book about the entire uh, way, since that water it wasn't just water enough to do it. But either way, uh, the, they <laughs> so there's a person there. I don't know this person, right? I have no idea who, who, who uh, if this person is credible. I don't know what uh, these uh, scientists did. Uh, I don't know these people, right? <laughs> I'm just saying. The international team of researchers use radar satellite imagery to map the river branch, which they call Adhramat Pyramid in Arabic. Radar gave them the unique ability to vertebral sand surface and all produce imagery of hidden uh, features, including Buried rivers and ancient structures. Uh, God on set. Uh, so okay, so so we use radar, right? So they, they get good. So they, they, they use brain. 
<laughs> so that's the common sense approach. We use brain to understand how <laughs> the entire process was <laughs> completed, and now at least we have a pro product. Uh, Surveyors in the field and all course of sediments from the site confirmed the uh, presence of the river according to the study in the journal Communication Surf and Environment. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> the once mighty river was increasingly covered in sand, potentially starting uh, during the major drought about uh, 4,000 years ago. Uh, 200 years ago, and scientists suggest that the Giza pyramid stood on a plateau of roughly a kilometer from the banks of the river. Many of the pyramids has ceremonial raised walkway that ran alongside the river before ending in a valley of temples which serve as the harbors of Gnonim Seid. Uh, okay, okay, so there's a portrait, so I was wondering if they would uncover an entire puzzle for people who are interested, but they only covering that uh, there's only the river, so but it's, uh, the entire process is more complex. So uh, perhaps uh, as of now, that's the only thing what they managed to uh, discover, right? Many <laughs> of the pyramid had a ceremonial raised walkways, right? Uh, this uh, indicates that the river played a key role in the transportation of the enormous building materials and workmen needed for pyramids constructions. She added exactly how ancient Egyptians managed to build such huge and all long-standing structures have been one of the history's great mysteries. Okay, okay. I don't think it, it's a mystery, but either way. Uh, these heavy materials, most of which were from the south will have been much easier to float down the river than transport over land. This <laughs> study, co author Suzanne uh, Wonst of University of Memphis said, oh, okay, okay, so they start using common sense, which is very good. The banks of the river could have been where the funeral, uh, I don't think funeral has anything to do with <laughs> it, way. And torches of uh, pharaohs were received before their bodies were moved to the final burial place within the pyramids she suggested. Uh, it is still uh, holding to uh, believe that it uh, has anything to do with funeral, wasting everyone's time, misleading people, but either way. The, the river may also indicate why the pyramids were built in a different spot. <laughs> still, still, uh, <laughs> this is definitely a mystery to some people, but it, it's a very common sense approach for people who understand it. Uh, perhaps uh, more of the function and why these buildings were built in the first place. If someone suggests that building such a structure can take 88 years, and later this structure could be used only for funeral, we're wasting our time. At least uh, they have made some progress. <laughs> the entire process I have uncovered within my book for people who are interested. Uh, it's Friday, let's do some promos and make some money, right? So people who like to understand about the entire process, at least they're making some progress right on the ground. This article was published 19 hours ago. Well, thanks for watching, see you in the next one.